offer them they, any kind of thing that they got they say you need to take out your repeat maybe they're giving them to, to someone else you know to some of their own um people wouldn't be surprised so um that, that's what in, in line with what you're saying and with the food now some of these K, kfc's when sometimes i taste them with them i know that there's something there's something's been done because i can i've got a good sense of taste and um, it's came out that the, 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 what's in it is a lot of bleach, but that kills your reproductive, uh, your sperm cells. But that's always been the case. I mean, you look at Planned Parenthood as well. And, you know, that, that, is, a, that is a, an establishment that's in most of them so-called ghettos out there. And who's killing off the people? Who's murdering their babies the most? It's that women, man. It's that fucking sense. And uh, there's a Netflix show called uh, Dear White People. And they got yeah. one episode, right? where the character, her name is Coco, she gets pregnant, right? And then at the end of the episode, they show her to the, go into the abortion clinic, getting an abortion, and they make her up as if to be this noble act, this noble while she's so brave. Right. Well, she's a murderer. She's yeah, a murderer. Yeah, yeah, but they'll come around and say, uh, oh, for justifying abortion, they're like, why if she got raped? Why if she, all the time, yeah, they like to use that one a lot, innit? Yeah, why, why if she got raped, is she, she supposed to keep that child? Statistically, rape, um, incest, them kind of things. That's two percent of the reasons why people, why these women have abortions. The real reason they have abortions because they're wicked bitches. That's right. They're just going out there on the weekends or whatever, sleeping with how many, men, many men they want, getting pregnant, but they want to continue. It's like that. I know you probably saw that video of that wicked Israelite woman talking about how she wants um, a plan B. Which is, a, which is a, um, I think it's a tablet that they take up there to get rid of the babies. Yeah. Right. So that's what they want, man. They just wanna. They oh wanna, yeah, the morning after they're going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plan B is America, but yeah, they're going the morning after Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how that's very common, man. There's like in Scotland, there's like there's one in literally spread around, spread around uh, morning after pills. Come Sunday, Monday, Tuesday mornings. A lot of, when you go in there, for sometimes uh, a few, Sometimes I pick up like uh, samples from different hospitals, from one hospital to another. And as soon as you walk in there, I mean, you see the whole queue of young women there. All of them, they're trying to get their, their money. Now that they put it in like uh, boots, you don't have to go to the clinics anymore. You can just walk into boots. Mm. And they don't, ask you, they don't ask you too many questions. Have you been uh, sexual? Yeah, I have. Okay, come this way. They, they, they give you a, a glass of water, they give you a pill, you pop it, that's you. Man. That's how easy it is, man. Just like that, man. Young women, they don't have to ask you how old you are. Now, like before, like if you're under a certain age, you can go. Uh, you have to go go for your parents to get an abortion, man. You don't gotta do that now. A little 13 year old, 14 year old girl can go to the hospital and say, "I'm, I'm still in school, I'm pregnant, take it out," and that's it. The thing is, uh, these elites have tricked these women into thinking that it's all about women's rights. You know, they're so stupid that they don't seem to understand that you don't have the right. That's another person inside of you. You're that you're woman. You're basically murdering, and you have the rights to do that, man. Yeah. Even, even, even when guys say, oh yeah, what if she was raped? Well, there's laws in the Bible for dealing with rape anyway. That's right. So, that's when it's supposed to punish the rapist, not, not the baby. Yeah. Uh, so 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11. These Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Yeah, man. That's beautiful, man. That's, that is beautiful. We are, we are not ignorant of his devices, man. And that's the thing, a lot of these people out here that are, are, are rallying for these so-called rights, they don't even understand that they're just being tricked, man. It's all a trick, it's all part of these sort of devices. It's just very cool, I was going to tell you that. You know? And he's always thinking of these, uh, these ways to trick these peons out here, man. And they fought for it every time. They, you know, it's all about, for them, it's all about freedom. And, you know, doing what you feel. You know, what about morals, man? What about what's right? Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear it through, the people mourn. Yeah, the people are mourning, man. But we're the people that are mourning, man. These other these idiots out here that don't even understand that they should be mourning. You know, but when we when we get when we get the power that we we will be promised, man. Then, then they'll really be happy, man. When, they, when they're following after our laws, sections and commandments, man, then they're going to know what living's all about. They're still going to have to be under manners, 
but they're gonna know what living's really about. You know, you know, they're gonna be eating clean food, drinking clean water, you know, breathing clean air. And those are fundamental things, man, that you haven't even got on this planet. I mean, even the water in this bottle I'm drinking right now is not clean. It's devils. It tampers with everything. That's why you've got half of these men out here who are like faggots. Because he's messing with the water, he's messing with the food. You know, all sorts of um, chemicals and that in it. That's making men effeminate and shit. Yeah. You know? Ezekiel chapter 4, verse 13. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the dentures. Come on, this is very good. Defiled bread, man. You know, there's no getting around it. There's no getting away from it. Even when you think you're eating something that's good, it's not. It's this devil's gone so far to take the seeds out of the food. Yeah. Imagine that. That's how far it's gone. I watched something the other day where they've created a new salmon. They've created a salmon. Two strains of salmon they put their, their cells together to create a new strain of salmon that grows extremely fast. Gross. You know, their excuse is that it's to feed people. No, it's not. It's all about money. It's all about money and poisoning people. That ain't safe. Yeah. They was taking it too far, man. And that's why it must be stopped. Right. Yeah. yeah, over in China as well, they're, they're, they're um, farming shrimps. But fast, you know, because they like, you know, the Chinese man, they like, they like their Chinese food and, and they like to sell it to, sell it to us. To, uh, so there's going to be some more shrimp fried rice on the, <laughs> but they're doing their farming them very fast in their own yeah, little, yeah, yeah. so they, they have, feed they them, yeah. They love to find shortcuts to everything. They love to find shortcuts. anything, man. They don't care what it is, man. This is Genesis 4 and 12. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shall I be in the earth. Genesis 4 and 12. When thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth mm. yield unto thee her strength. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, man, because you know what? That's true, man, because this devil doesn't even understand the, the, the land sabbath, man. He thinks he's so smart. But he doesn't even understand the land sabbath, man. When you till the land, man. You're using the minerals that's in the land. So once you've used up the land enough, you have to let that land rest so the minerals can therefore be put back in the earth. Man. Plenish the earth. But yeah. you can do things like that, man, because it's all about the now and, 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 the, and the greed. You understand what I'm saying, man? That's all it's about. It's take, take, take. Man. So, Habakkuk 2 and 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up in. Sorry. Behold, the soul which is lifted up is not upright in it, but the just shall live by faith. Yeah, man, the soul is not upright in it, man. That's why he's off, man. Basically, he's just off. Everything he does is backwards. Um, not unnatural. I, I will say unnatural is the perfect description for this devil, man. You know what I mean? He wants to, he's happy putting things in his body. He's happy putting chips and you know, all sorts of technology in his brain. He, you know, he's happy to become part man, part machine. You know, all that shit they're pushing in their movies and their, you know, their, um, their, science, uh, their science fiction movies. They're happy to, um, to eat the, what they call Franklin foods out there. You know what I mean? Um, uh, invented seeds. You know, they're happy to do all this stuff, man. They don't have any spirit. They're not spiritual. They're carnal. They're, carnal. they're not spiritual at all. They don't understand the natural things of the ways, the, the natural way things are supposed to be according to the... To, to, to the law, man. Anyone got anything? Uh, get that, get that. Right, so this is uh, Job chapter 30. Let me see, I'll start at 5 by the Edomites. Right? They were driven forth among men. They cried after to dwell in the clefts of the valleys, in caves of the earth, and in the rocks. I'll skip down to verse 8. They were children of fools, yea, children of base men, and they were violent in the earth. Yeah, man, those, there's three points in there, man. <laughs> base men, base men, man. That, the lowest, you know, the lowest denomination of people over you, man. Running this planet, turning it upside down, man. It's all topsy-turvy. Um, 
people also they say they were um, children of fools, man. Children of fools. Everything they do is um, is foolish, man. You know, they think that there's scripture about um, their, um, their wisdom is foolish to the, to the, to the most high. Like, you know, you don't have to get it if you can paraphrase it. You get it. That's the one precept that's yeah, that's similar, but yeah, that's the one. That's the first Corinthians. Yeah, first Corinthians, the first chapter. Okay, yeah, man. The foolishness of this world, the brother's going to get it, but they're fools, man. Why then? 21. Yeah. yeah, and it says base men. Like when you uh, go and buy a car, let's say you want a, uh, I don't know, the Fiesta, they have a base model, man. But that base model doesn't have sat nav, doesn't have this and that, then you go up. So the Lord's saying that these these people, they're the lowest, man. yeah, they're the, they're the lowest of the low, man. And the Greek Empire proves it. They made statues of their orgies, man. All right? No, they did. <laughs> yeah, they did. That's true, and that's why it says yeah. also they're viler, viler than the earth. Viler than the earth. Yeah, they got viler, man. You know what I mean, all that stuff that they do, that they, they were doing in Roman Greco times, man, and they're still doing that now, man. People think that people think that that um, that, uh, that Roman uh, society is finished, man. But you're living in it right now, man. They're still doing them things. Man. This yeah. is a, this is a basically a neo, what I like to call a neo Roman Greco society. Man. They're still pushing the same the same doctrines, the same um, governmental system. They're still pushing it. That's what it means when it says uh, his deadly wounds were healed because that empire came back up again, which we're in this time now. That's it. That's location changed because before it was in Rome and now the head of the Roman Empire is in America now. You know? Uh you go uh, I've got one. That's um, the best men. Fourteen chapter. The fool have said in his heart right. that there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. That's right, man. And that's what they think, man. They think that they, think they are good. Man. That's what they're doing these things, man. You're not supposed to be creating new animals, man. I mean, they, they happen to go out there and killing off uh, certain species. You know, kill, um, killing them up until there's none of them left. And then they want to turn around and create new ones that they shouldn't even be doing in the first place. And, and the thing is, you've got these fools out there that, that accepts in this shit. I mean, it's like, it's like the pharmaceutical, them, them, them pharma companies keeping you sick with all this, all this food and all this other things that you put into your body just so they can say the, uh, the pills or the medicines yeah. to not even cure you man they're yeah. not even trying to cure you man they're just trying to keep you in that state yeah because basically Iso, Iso thinks everything that's existing now he thinks he can make it better yeah. man, women you think he can make them better man. animals you think he can make them better right uh, plants that's why they got GMOs because there's a way you live with the F when you plant you plant for six years you, on the seventh year, you give it a Sabbath. But then if you don't do that, there's a curse that comes with it, man. They are pestless, pest, pest, pests that come and eat up your crops. But Esau, what Esau does now, he creates particular plants that are pretty much are either those uh, particular pests, they don't eat it, yeah. or when they eat it, they die. Right. Those are pesticides that they spray in the, you know, so if they'd rather do that, than actually go by the way, uh, by the ways of the Heavenly Father, man. Okay, which the words of the heavenly father, the Lord, when he gives the laws, touching and commandments, he did say, This is life. Yeah, if you follow this way, this is life, man. Yeah, okay, an everlasting kingdom is gonna be it's gonna be everlasting because we're gonna live according to the ways of the heavenly father, man. The laws, touching and commandments of the heavenly father, okay, right. But yeah. so even though he's, he's got the Bible, they understand this, but they said, Nah, we're gonna do it another way instead. Yeah, we're gonna create seeds. That, uh, that don't go bad. Yeah. You know? If you look at those plants, they, they grow big, they look juicy and everything, but when you, majority of the times you buy an apple, you eat it, it's tasteless. Yeah. yeah. You know? It's tasteless, man. Yeah. You know? 
and you have to be careful with with uh, the fruits that they put a lot of wax on them yeah, yeah, to yeah. preserve their life. That that will give you cancer. Yeah. Oranges, orange is supposed to be very sweet. Yeah. But this is you buy them, you put it in your mouth, and you spit that shit out, man. It's, it's preserving things is because they're not doing things correctly in the first place. Right. Yeah. You're not supposed to have certain things sitting on the shelves uh, for time and time and time and time, man. You do things in season, yeah. like you're supposed to. Like the scripture says, man, there's a, there's a season for everything, man. And that includes the food, man. Yeah, yeah. But this devil wants to be so greedy, he wants to be able to sell the same things all year round, man. Yeah. And that's why, these, that's why nothing tastes good anymore. Uh -huh. That's why nothing's nutrition, uh, nutritional for you anymore. Mm. You know? And, they'd, and they'd, they'd rather limit the supply to the people because majority of the times, anything that they don't, they don't sell, you never see at the back of, back, back of a Tesco where they start giving out everything for free what they don't sell. They'd rather destroy it right, and give right. it the more you limit uh, the yeah. quantities that are going out to the people, yeah. the higher you can keep the price. Right. You know? I've got a precept. This is Revelation 11 and 18 and it says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give the word unto the servants, the prophets, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and should, shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. Okay? Who's destroyed the earth, man? Esau, man. Their chemtrails, their foods that they're mixing in the, in the soil. Everything that you're buying, pretty much Esau has put his hands in there, <coughs> and somehow they've damaged it. There's nothing that's pure anymore. The air that we're breathing is not pure. The water, that, that's what people are buying water, man. Mm. Even that as well, man, is really not pure, man. You know? And it just represents death, man, basically. So cut a long story short, this man just represents death and destruction. And like the brother said, he actually thinks he can... He's doing certain things, thinking he's saving the earth, man. But yet he's making it ten times worse. Yeah. yeah. This is uh, Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants. Like, yeah. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Because they have transgressed the laws, Changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Changed the laws, man. He's talking about the laws of these scriptures, man. But they was adhering to these laws of this book. We won't be talking about this. But they got their own laws, man, as we went into before. Read that again. It's, uh, Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Yeah, man, I mean, changed ordinances. I mean, that's even, that even goes down to them changing the, you know, the months of the year and the seasons, man. You know, when they, when they say it's winter, it's not winter. When they say it's spring, it's not spring. So all these things, it's, it's so flipped upside down, it's ridiculous, man. That is why, going back to, the, to our original statement, is that is why Yahweh Hashem Yahweh needs to come back and destroy these devils, man. Destroy this place, purge it with the fire. That's right. And start again. It's the only way. This is Obadiah chapter one, verse two. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. And I yeah, man. Let me just say I'm speaking. With them. Because they are greatly despised, man. You know, you'd think that because everyone deals with Babylon, that you know everyone's called cool Babylon. Man. But these countries out there, the Turkeys, the Russians, the Chinas of this world, they want to, they want to see that place destroyed. The Iran's especially, the Iran's on the rocks. They're always talking about um, destroying America, man. In fact, I saw a Russian choir the other day singing about the destruction of America that's right. by nuclear oh, yeah. fire. And that was an RT. And that's the spirit. Because that's the spirit that this world needs to be in right now. Just the destruction of Babylon so we can get the hell out of here, man. And see and, and see the and see the back of this see the back of them devils. Yeah. Um, verse 3. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. Exactly, let me stop it. That, and, that's, and that was going back to what the brother said, when the pride of thy heart have deceived thee, man. That's why they think that they can control everything. Uh, that's why they think that they can save the world. That's why every time you see a movie, who's saving the world, man? It's like fucking devils, man. Mm -hmm. And that's how they got the world tricked into thinking that they are the, you know, the, the nicest people on earth. 
Then they flipped it around to make Jake look like he's the, he's the one that has the cool cuts plan. He's the one that puts people in sleep. Yeah. He's the one that comes up with these wicked rules, man. We ain't even got no power here, man. So how are we doing all these things? You know what I mean? Right. Whose habitation is high, that saith in its heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Verse 4. Though thy exalt thyself as the eagle, though thy set thy nest among the stars, hence will I bring you down, says the Lord. And there's clues in there. Exalt thyself as the eagle. Eagle, yeah. So who, who's that? Who, who, who does that pertain to? Who, who, who's, who has the eagle as their national, national bird? It's America. And that's all that's talking about, man. So going back even further, the Roman Empire and, and the That's right, man. And the Greeks as well. And the Greeks. And, and the Nazis. It, as and as it well. shows, so it shows you, man. Yep. It's perpetual. It shows you who the devils are. In fact, just for old time, someone get Joe 924, man. Let's just get that one out. It's been a while. So, Joe 924. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges they were. If not, where and who is he? It's all there, man. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Man. Now, only people who are deceiving themselves are going to tell you that that's not talking about the so-called white man. Because history speaks for itself. And you, and you Christians out there that are refusing to believe that Esau is the white man, or the so I should say. You only deceive on yourselves. It's evident. Man. You don't see anyone else running the planet. You don't see anyone else telling everyone else what to do. Man. It's them. You're not, we're not we're talking about these, these um, average uh, so white peons out here. Man. We're talking about their elites, man. They're the wicked, man, that the Bible speaks of. Read that again. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? He covereth the faces of the judges, man. That's, we're the judges, man. And it says, if not, where and who is he, man? That's a question for you to answer, like. If it's not the man that you think he is, who else is he going to be, man? It's telling you. You know what I mean? The it's, not, it's not the Chinese, it's not the Chinese, it's not the Indians. It's definitely not the Arabs. Alright. I've got precept. This is uh, Sirach 10 and 4, and it says, The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. There you go. That's self explanatory, man. So yeah. eventually the righteous are going to be set over the earth. Man. And now the people are going to have everything on the earth is going to have. You know, it's gonna get, 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 it's gonna get fixed back up again. Yeah, again. We're gonna be walking around this damn concrete. Yeah. You know, you know, you're gonna get adhering to the laws, man. We're gonna be walking around in this crap, destroying our kneecaps, eating all this shit food out here. You know, oh. drinking all this poison water. Even the water, man. Even the water, you can't trust. Man. Imagine that. Wow. Let's say something. Got a precept for you. Uh, this is Daniel seven and twenty-five, and he shall speak great. I was holding like that. Oh, sorry. No, really, really. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. And that's, see, that's why, the, that's why the scriptures are so beautiful, man. It explains everything beautifully, and it pinpoints the, the people that you want to move with. You know what I'm saying? That's clear, man. Read that again, please. Uh, this is Daniel chapter 7 and verse 25. It says, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. That's it, man. So all this, all this wickedness that this devil's pulling, changing all the orders, this is the brother red, you know, wearing us out, because he's wearing us out spiritually, man. So we've got to put all this shit. We've got to listen to all these new things he's coming out with, you know, we've got to watch the rest of these people falling for it. Yeah. But it's for, it's for a given time, man. 
that time is near. It's nearly over. Proverbs 29 and 16. When the wicked are multiplied, transgressor, transgression increases. But the righteous shall see their fall. Right. The righteous shall see their fall. Right. That's what, that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for. That's exactly right. what we're waiting for. That's, and it's going to be beautiful in that day, man. It went that time now. Yeah, we're oh, in that time now. That's right. But that's what keeps us going, man. That's one of the things that keeps us going, dude. There's a multitude of things, but, you know, sometimes you've got certain things on your mind, man. Uh, to back up the priest that the Bible just brought out, this is Sirach 25 and 7. There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that hath joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. Yeah, that's right. <coughs> that's beautiful, man. Is that, what, what scripture was that? Uh, that was Sirach um, 25 and 7. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that, man. There's nothing wrong with righteous... Um, retribution. Righteous retribution, that's the word. There's nothing wrong with that, man. Uh, Obadiah chapter 1 verse 10 For thy violence against thy brother Jacob Shame shall cover thee That's right. And thou shalt be cut off forever Yeah man, cut off forever Shame shall cover thee man Everyone's going to know what they're about man They're going to know their records man They're going to know all the shit that they've pulled On this earth man. You know, they've covered it up well You know Because you've got our people so bugged out That they're quick to defend these devils as well You know what I'm saying? You know, and we've seen it, man. But we've been out on the street teaching this. We've always been peckling sometimes. Peckle. You've, got these devils, you've got these devils there, and you've got, especially the, the nickel, man. I'll say how it is. Rushing to defend these devils, man. That's how blinded they are, man. But you know what? You can't really blame them, man. Because the devil's done a good job. He's done a good job deceiving our people. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, Job 20. This is Job 20 and 5, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Verse 6, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds. Verse 7, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. <laughs> start from the second. <laughs> start. Uh, Alright, let me start from uh, Job 20 and oh, man, 5. That the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Stop there. See man, the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. They are hypocrites. You know, they're hypocrites man. They say one thing when they're doing another thing. Man. They act like they're so righteous. Well yeah, we're talking about the wicked man. We're talking about the so Edomites. But, you know, uh, there wasn't a plan to really get on these Edomites but, you know, through this, it's happening. So, this is so good. They are Job 20 and 5 that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds verse 7 yet he shall perish forever like his own dung they which have seen him shall say where is he? Mm. yes he shall fly away yeah, yeah, as a dream and shall not be found. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behold him. Yeah, man, that goes back to other time, man. Because look, it says there, um, he shall fly away as a dream. Shall fly away he shall fly away, away as a dream, man. That means he's just going to be, it's going to be like, he was here one minute and gone the next minute, right? You know? He's, he, he is fit for destruction, complete, complete uh, annihilation. Do you want to get that in over time? I've got it. You've got it, get that. What verse do you want? It's about the stomach. Oh yeah. Obadiah chapter 1, verse 17. But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob shall, the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. 
and there shall not be any remaining of the house of e Esau, right. because the Lord has spoken. Yeah, man. So explain that, you wacky, tacky Christians. Explain that that the Lord loves everyone and He's going to save everyone. Well, he's just told you that particular, and that's a whole nation of people, yeah. Genesis, that are going to genocide. That's it. Are going to be absolutely completely obliterated. As it just, as we just read, they're going to fly away as a dream, man. You know, people are going to think, did they, you know, who were they? Do you remember them? You know what I'm saying? Well, the storybooks. Yeah. Imagine that, man. That's storybooks. I books. can't wait for that, man. That's right. I can't, like, you know, when we're, when we're just chilling and we're just talking about shit. You know, <laughs> you, do you remember them Edomites? You know what I'm saying? Do you remember them? I can't wait for those days. That's right. Lord willing. Lord willing, Lord willing. Yeah, like in the kingdom, once they're um, exterminated, we're going to have a statue of a cracker and we're going to have a sign, this was the wicked. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah man. That's going to be not, not too big though. <laughs> <laughs> not too big, it's a little figurine, a little statue just in a box somewhere. Just come and see this. Yeah. With these people. Uh, yeah, man, that's going to be beautiful. Yeah. I've got a precept for you. This is um, 2nd Esther 15 and uh, verse 3. Fear not the imaginations against thee, let not the incredulity, let not the slap yet, let not the incredulity of them that trouble thee, that speak against thee. For all that are unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Yes, wickedness is exceedingly polluted. Sorry, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And uh, we're the only ones that can see this. Even the Christians can't even see that. They're not even thinking about the, the end, man. They're not really thinking. They talk about being saved with this. They're not, they don't see, and they don't even know or understand what's about to happen. Man. They're just living their lives, man. That's why they talk about, you know, praying for a new job, and you know, praying for cars, and. This, that and a half. Yeah, prosperity, yeah, God, prosperity man. That's what they that's how they live. They're not thinking about the destruction of, of the wicked, the setting up of the kingdom. They don't even understand all that anyway, man. It's not even in their <coughs> So Hebrews 12 and 6. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. And that shows the carnality of the man. For a morsel of meat, man. Look, it was the plan anyway. It was always in the plan. But it just goes to show you what he's about. Man. He's not spiritual, man. He ain't spiritual. That's why he laughs at him. He, he laughs at him. He, 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 he yeah. laughs at him because he thinks that he is oh. the, the, the supreme power on this earth. Because well, he's been getting away with it for so long. Yeah. Because that technically the firstborn child is the one that's supposed to get the birthright. Right. But he used to go hungry one day and sold it to us, man. So can you imagine the kingdom of heaven? They were, they were the ones that supposed to, when, uh, when Isaac was given the blessing, he thought he was giving that blessing to Esau. That's why he felt him because he was blind. He felt him, touched him up. He could smell uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the goat skin that the mother made for him. And then he gave him that blessing, but he didn't know that the, the brother supplanted him, Jacob supplanted him. So yeah. he gave the blessing of the kingdom of heaven to the younger brother instead. Of which Esau had, had already sold it anyway, you know? Yeah. It became ours afterwards. So we supplanted the kingdom out of the hands of Esau. Yeah. Literally tricked them out of it. So now their time is short, and they're going to be the ones that are going to be destroyed. And we're the ones that are going to get the blessing with the first born made everlasting life. Okay, nations are gonna worship us, an everlasting kingdom. Right. You know, yeah, but that was also up in the spirit anyway, though. But it happened that way. That's how the Lord set up for it to happen that way. Jacob, could, Jacob could have been born first, but the Lord set up the other way instead. That we, that Jacob tricks Esau instead. Oh. So we stole the blessing from Esau. You know. Uh, yeah.